if you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should, you probably don't know that I finally got back my $1,000 lost iPad Pro. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, which I explained how I lost my $1,000 iPad Pro, I basically lost it in the airplane. Um, I, I mean, I forgot it. I left it there because it was 4 in the morning and I was really sleepy. I know, I'm stupid, you don't have to tell me again. So after the video that I posted about my lost iPad Pro, I decided to tweet out to my airline. I decided to tweet out to Vueling, which was the airline that I flew from Morocco to Barcelona. The airline that supposedly had my iPad Pro. So I tweeted out this. Dear Vueling, I forgot my iPad Pro on the airplane last week. I was the last person to leave on the plane. I said that I was the last person to leave the plane because I was literally the last person to leave the plane. So Vueling had to have my iPad unless somebody that worked from Vueling stole my iPad. You guys aren't replying to any of my emails. I'd like to get my iPad back or a simple response. It was really frustrating because I was emailing them and I wasn't getting a response. I wasn't getting a response like, okay, we'll look into it. Okay, no, it's not here. Like anything. I just wanted a response. Then after that tweet you guys were amazing and then you guys kept replying and you guys kept tagging Vueling and Vueling and then this happened. Vueling replied to my tweet and they said hello Nikias we are sorry to know that you forgot it can you please DM us your booking code we will do our best to bring your iPad back to you and then I started DMing Vueling which by the way they were incredible. Whoever is responsible or the team that is responsible from replying emails is horrible. I mean they literally didn't even uh, reply me yet like as of today they still haven't replied me on Twitter, on the other hand, they are fantastic, they are fast, and they are really, just, they are overall really nice, and they keep asking me, is there anything else we can do? Like, they're seriously so hard at work. But anyways, they basically tell me, okay, we'll look into it, and we'll get back to you tomorrow. And patiently, the next day finally came, and they texted me this, Nikias, your iPad is already located, and you can pick it up in our lost and found office in Barcelona. You just need to show them this reference, blah, 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 and the booking code, which is blah, 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 blah. At this point, I was shaking. I was like, I cannot believe this. It's been two weeks since my iPad was lost. I had no faith on my iPad Pro. I was really, really sad because as I told you on my last video, uh, I wanted a new iPad, but I, I wasn't sure I was gonna buy a new one because I'm trying to save money this year. And my iPad Pro, I can't live without it, but I technically can't since I have my, I've got my MacBook, but I was gonna miss my iPad Pro because I use my iPad Pro for everything, like literally everything, so I was really sad. Okay, so at the moment that I actually got the message, I was actually in Edinburgh in Scotland with my family. Yes, I was actually traveling again this month. It, it's just been crazy um, traveling. I've been to Scotland and Morocco. I'm actually excited to finally be home and finally be working on videos and on my app and a bunch of other projects. So I'm, I'm excited to be back. So, at that moment, as I said, I was in Scotland. It was actually our last day that we were there. Scotland was beautiful, by the way. It's, uh, it was honestly, my expectations were this low from Scotland, and it was actually there later. It was a lot of fun. I actually got this papaya band. Yes, I know I have to save money, but it was only the only thing that I got from the trip, and I really wanted this. Anyway, so I told my mom, Mom, we have to go to the airport. We have to go to the Barcelona airport. See, the thing is, um, we went from Scotland to Girona. We didn't go from Scotland to Barcelona. So we literally would have to go from Scotland to Girona and from Girona to the Barcelona airport. And my mom was like, can't we go tomorrow? We, I'm, I'm literally so tired to go today. We're literally going to be traveling the whole day with the car, with the airplane. Can't you wait for tomorrow? I'm like, Mom. Please, I'm just worried that it won't even be there and since they replied, can, can we just go today, please? And of course, she's literally the best freaking mom in the world and she said yes. So, we went from Scotland to uh, Girona. From Girona, it was actually really, really late. So, we actually had to stay in my summer house and then from my summer house, we went to Barcelona. From Barcelona, we had to go to the airport and then I was finally at the airport. By this time, I was literally, my heart was literally like... My heart was pounding. I was literally so scared that the iPad was not going to be there. They literally told me that I had to go to the Lost and Found. So I went to the Lost and Found from the airport of Barcelona. And I went there and I'm like, hello, sir. Oh, I lost my iPad two weeks ago. Um, here's the text message with the booking code. Um, is my iPad here? Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. There's no iPads under that name. Um, what do you mean there's no iPads? Um, look. Look at the booking code. They literally told me to go right here. Sorry, there's no iPad. Um, can you, can you at least look and check if there's any iPads? Or are you just going to say sit there and not gonna look. I told you there's no idea. Like, oh my gosh, okay. Um, wh what do you want me to do then? Like, should I just give up? And he's like, no, well, you can check. You can check on the other. There's another lost and found. You can check there. The guy was really weird. I'm sorry if you're the guy watching this, but you were just not 
he was just not nice. He was just weird. He was lazy. He was kind of like, I forget what the ladies called from, from Monsters, Inc. The Mike Wazowski. That girl? Yeah. This girl. Wazowski. 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 He just didn't really seem like he wanted to help me. So I went to the other part of the airport as he told me. This other lost and found. I actually had to go from somewhere that I actually had to give my ID. Anyways, I finally get there and I'm like, hello. Is my iPad here? And they're like, um, do you have your booking code? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry. I give them my booking code, and yes, the iPad was there. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I, I got really excited. I kind of embarrassed myself just doing this in the middle of, yes. I was happy. I mean, just imagine that feeling where they give you the iPad that you thought that was lost. They give you that $1,000 iPad that you thought you were lost, and you're like, Yes! And I told him you are literally the best. Thank you. And that's the story on how I got my iPad Pro. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.